Hi, my name is Sherbel, and today we are on the video number 3 on how to use the business rules model. In this video, I will show you how to show a message to the logged in user with a specific role. So, let's go to configuration, workflow, business rules. First of all, we have to create the action to show the message. So, click on actions, add action. and choose show a message continue as usual we have to give it a label and description so I just will give it show a message for the label and show a message for the description you can give it a tag if you want we will choose here the message type I will just stick with the status message and we will say something like welcome back our manager and we will put here the manager name we will go to the available variables click here to see the entity fields we will choose current username close dialog and add it here and I will just remind you about some things that this variable come built in with the business rules module so two variables come always built in with the module which are the user and the URL variable before I will continue I have to show you something that I already created user one user with one role manager so I have created a role manager on my uh, website and I have also created a user I named manager and we will uh, our example will be when any user with role manager lo will logged in to our website we will show him a message but this message message only will appear uh, for the role of manager so if we have any other role on the website they will not see this message so now let's go back to our site after we put our message here we should save go back to business rules page okay here if normally we want just to show a message for any any rules uh, sorry for any user we so we don't have to add any condition just go create your rule as the action what we create now and done but our case we want to use condition so we have to go to the condition tab add condition the condition will be logged in user has role continue as always we have to give it a label and description give it a tag if you want and here you will choose the roles you can choose one or many roles for me I will stick only with one uh, role which will be manager the match criteria uh, you can choose if you have let's say different uh, roles selected you can say all roles so all roles should be matched so the user which is going to logged in should have all roles at once so this condition will met and will be active otherwise it will not but in my case because only we have one role which is manager I will choose at least one role and then save it okay the thing is about condition is a little bit different than the normal rules module what we used to know in Drupal 7 uh, here after saving more uh, two more fields will appear to us one for items to execute if condition succeed and the other to execute if condition fails so actually the actions for our condition will be added here on this page and not on the rule page to understand what I mean I will go back from the beginning here we created our condition give it a label give it a description we just uh, the settings of our condition roles which is manager match criteria at least one role this uh, user should have at least one role of these selected roles and then here we can add conditions if 
if this condition met and it succeeded we add action to be executed and if not we add also action to execute we can add to uh, many as many action, actions as we want and also we can add act, uh, condition inside condition but this will be for another video so for now for uh, for our tutorial we want to say show a message if the user is has a role of manager that's why we have to click on add action in the green section here on if condition succeed we want to show a message message is a action we already created which is show a message message and now here our action has been added so when the user will log in with uh, manager role this message will appear to him go scroll down and save it okay now go back to business rules module the, the last part is to create the rules so go to rules tab add rule and we will choose user has logged in continue we will give it label and description uh, under the target entity type and target bundle uh, the, the user entity is already selected for us so just hit save button now the new field will appear for us to add condition and action in our case we want to add the condition we just created so just add condition link and here lo logged in user has role this is our condition and inside this, uh, this condition we already have one action so all you need to do is just add this condition and everything will magically work out so now we add our condition here you can see type of condition before we say uh, before we will hit the save we can check here the the flow chart uh, is visually the flow chart will help help us to visually uh, understand what is going on so basically user has when user has logged in it will check the condition if the logged in user has role of manager if yes will show a message so save okay now everything is uh, is good we are going to test our uh, rule go back to home page We will log out from our website and I will log back again as manager. So log in manager and also the password log in. And here we go. We'll come back our manager and the name is manager. So everything is working. So this will be all for this video, see you in the next one and have a good day, bye bye.